Well, I knew this day was going to come. I knew that I would have to sit down and make this video. So first, let me start off by saying that I'm not talking to all of GMS. I'm just talking to the GMS dummies that decided to comment on a video that I made. Now, I'm kind of new to YouTube. I know a lot about YouTube, don't get me wrong, but I don't know about how to you know, manipulate the page. But I clicked on a comment that had been flagged down and the comment was, Hebrew Israelite, you're right brother, Hebrew Israelites need to come together. That's what the comment was, but somebody flagged it down. And so I clicked, and excuse me, it's for a video that I made that said, Hebrew Israelites are scared and jealous of the nations. So I clicked on the name and I clicked on some, some names that had some real negative comments on that video. And every name I clicked on, the dudes had GMS this and GMS and GMS this all over their pages. Now, I don't even know who the fuck GMS is. I really don't. So I had to do a little research and learn who and what GMS is. But the interesting thing is that they're the only dumbass niggas that didn't get the video. So I'm not talking to all of GMS. I'm just talking to them dumbass niggas that didn't get the video. That's number one. Number two, if anybody agrees with that, that Hebrew Israelites should not come together, think they want to flag a comment like that down, then I'm talking to you too on this video. I am talking to you on this video. I'm directing this video towards you as well. So this video is for them dumbass niggas from GMS. And this video is for anybody that think that Hebrew Israelites don't need to come together. That's number one. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the scripture now. And this is Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 5. And the officer shall speak unto the people, saying, What man is there that hath built a new house and hath not dedicated it? Let him go and return to his house, lest he die in battle and another man dedicate it. Verse 6. And what man is he that hath planted a vineyard and hath not eaten of it? Let him also go and return unto his house, lest he die in battle and another man eat of it. Verse 7. And what man is there that hath betrothed a wife and hath not taken her? Let him go and return unto his house, lest he die in battle and another man take her. Now. Especially verse 7. What you're dealing with there is a brother who will have a jealous spirit. And that's not, not something that you want running rampant in your camp when you get ready to go to war. Verse 8. And the officers shall speak further unto the people and they shall say, What man is there that is fearful and faint-hearted? Let him go and return unto his house, lest his brother's heart faint as well as his heart. Verse 9, and it shall be when the officers have made an end of speaking unto the people that they shall make captains of the armies to lead the people. So you go to verse 8 and it says, let's go back to verse 8. And it says, and the officers shall speak further unto the people and they shall say, what man is there that is fearful and faint hearted? Let him go and return unto his house, lest his brother's heart faint as well as his heart. So now we're dealing with a fearful spirit. So we're dealing with a fearful and a jealous spirit. When the brothers get ready to go to war, you know, the officers get together and call the brothers and they say, okay, you know, when they say these things that the scripture said, they're supposed to say they're dealing with a, a, a fearful and a jealous spirit. So for all you dumbass GMS niggas that did not understand the video that I posted that Hebrew Israelites are scared and jealous of the nations, since apparently you don't know prophecy, you don't know uh, 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 prophecy, then I have to explain it using the law. For you dumbass niggas. 
you're the only ones who did not get that video. All, just about every other Hebrew Israelite, they may not have liked how I said it, but they got it. They already knew what I was talking about. You all are the only dumbass niggas that didn't get it. And you jumped on my uh, uh, YouTube channel and you made all kind of stupid ass comments. Oh, dumbass, juvenile ass comments. So again, if you do not understand the video because you do not know prophecy, then now you can understand that video by the law. And what ha I have done at this point now is explain the video using the law and the prophets. Now, and I used, I'd explain it using the prophets in my own special way. Now, the reason I don't really go into the prophets as much as I could is because that's the only thing that most Hebrew Israelites will pay attention to if I did that. Because brothers and sisters love to try to learn some prophecy. They're going to figure that prophecy out and they will not pay attention to the law. So that's why I don't go into the prophets. But you better believe I can, nigga. All day long. Read the title to this video. I am not somebody you want to fuck with. Look at what I just did to you. I am not anything to play with. You don't play with a nigga like me. Now, for those of you that are in GMS, I know there's some, I'm sure there's some fine Hebrew Israelites in GMS, you know, and hopefully you're looking at them niggas who decided to come onto my page and talk that shit and you saying to them, why the fuck did y'all fuck with this nigga Yahudah? This is not a nigga to fuck with. All the niggas, all the brothers doing is teaching the law, statutes, commandments, and judgments. Throw a little prophecy in there on his on his um YouTube channel. That's all he's doing. Why y'all wanna fuck with this nigga? Hopefully other people from GMS are telling some of them young ass niggas, dumb ass niggas they got running around there that. I, I really hope and I pray that. Now, if y'all got a problem with what I'm saying, then fuck you too. I am not somebody you want to fuck with. You need to recognize what I have just done. Just in within, what, three, four, five minutes? Look at the title of this video. Like I said in that video that they had a problem with, I have a black belt in Hebrew Israelite, nigga. Fuck that Hebrew you talking. The next video is going to be a part two. And what's going to be in that part two if y'all decide you want to keep fucking with me? I'm tearing down the walls. I'm going into your city. And I'm burning the shit to the ground. That's going to be part two. It's not going to be pretty. I'm going to embarrass the shit out of you. So leave me the fuck alone. I am not the nigga you want to fuck with. Now, there's some Hebrew Israelites out here that don't like to see brothers and sisters fighting and things of that nature. And I feel you. You know, I understand where you're coming from. But in something like this, you know somebody's going to have to be made into an example. That's just the way it works. And these niggas was the ones that had to be made into a damn example. You are not on my level. Like I said and when I commented to some of you niggas, you need to go ask permission before you decide you want to fuck with me. You need to go talk to your elders before you decide you want to fuck with me. You need to watch all my, or at least some of my videos before you decide you want to fuck with me. I am not anybody you just want to fuck with. I will roam through your zone, nigga. I will rip your shit to shreds. Now, this is a very short video. I was able to get straight to the point. Oh, and let me add this. I meant what I said when I sent the message out to you niggas. I will come to your camp. 
Obviously, I have no problem proving what I say. I will embarrass the shit out of you in front of your whole congregation. I'm old, nigga. I'm <laughs> old school Hebrew Israelite, man. Ain't none of y'all hit me back yet. It told me where your Sabbath day service is so I can go holler at you. So we can see eye to eye. We can look eye to eye, nigga. And we can talk like men. Matter of fact, like every other Hebrew Israelite out there, I did my own little research. Because like I said, I don't know who the fuck GMS is. I don't even know who y'all niggas are. And I don't see no Sabbath day service information. Usually everybody had a Sabbath day service right there at the front of the website. I ain't seen that. I ain't seen no contact information. I ain't seen no phone number. I ain't seen no email address. I ain't seen none of that. You know? So again, I'm just talking to a handful of niggas from GMS that decide they want to try to go to war with me. But if all of y'all are the same way, then fuck you too. You all are not on my level. You can't fuck with me. Look at the title of this video, nigga. Look at what I just did. And I did it in for a few minutes. In a few minutes, I've explained a video that you niggas had a problem with using the law. Use, use the prophets beforehand. I've obliterated your goddamn camps and your fucking opinion. It's obliterated that shit, nigga. Or obliterated your opinion. I ain't gonna say your camps. That's coming in part two if you niggas decide you wanna keep fucking with me. I've obliterated your opinion, nigga. And I all did it all in a few minutes. Like I told you, dumbasses. And it was one GMS dumbass nigga that decided he wanted to uh, ask me, well, what's God's real name? Nigga, I speak Hebrew Israelite, nigga. You can't tell? You can't tell when I tell you, nigga, in part two, I'm coming, I'm tearing down your wall, nigga, and I'm burning your cities to the ground. Do you even know what that means? You better go ask somebody. Fuck your doctrine, nigga, if you got a problem with me and what I do. I'll rip that shit to the motherfucking ground, nigga. I'm not anybody that you want to fuck with. Now, usually at the end of my videos, I say peace. But you see the title of this video, so it ain't no peace on this motherfucker. This is about warfare. Dumbass motherfuckers. Talking that damn shit. Fucking with a Hebrew Israelite doing his job. And also, like I said, nigga, I'm gonna holler at your elder, nigga. The nigga gonna see me. To release some dumbass motherfuckers like you into the world. I'm a nigga, what kind of gym, man? What kind of niggas is you got going on running around out here? Because usually most elders are highly accessible. The guy can't even find out who the fuck your elder is. You know, just like I can't see your phone number or your email address or nothing, even your Sabbath day service location, nigga. The fuck? But like I said, I knew this day was going to come. Somebody was going to have to be made into an example, and here it is. Like I also said, I know all GMS ain't crazy as shit. You know, I know y'all some good brothers and sisters. Uh, some of y'all some good brothers and sisters. You just want to learn this word, you know, and, and, and learn how to serve y'all, you know, and be, be a good person. You know, I understand that. Hopefully you brothers and sisters learn something about warfare. Which is what this video is about. And hopefully you GM, you dumbass GMS niggas out there understand that I speak Hebrew Israelite, nigga. I have a black belt. I will fuck your shit up. Real talk. Holla at you, man.